The sun gains its energy by nuclear fusion, converting hydrogen to helium. The sun has been doing this for four and a half billion years and will have a total main sequence lifetime of 10 billion years. However, the sun will change in its properties and it has changed already over four and a half billion years. And this has an effect on the habitable zone. The sun, for example, was 30% dimmer at the beginning of its life than it is now. And as it continues to convert hydrogen to helium, the number of particles in the core will go down as hydrogen particles are combined into helium nuclei. This will reduce the pressure, which raises the temperature as the sun adjusts to the smaller number of particles. The increased pressure results in increased temperature, which raises the fusion rate and therefore the luminosity of the sun. The sun will therefore continue to brighten through its main sequence lifetime. The eventual effect of this is that the habitable zone, currently of a range 0.8 to about 1.7 astronomical units, will move outward and eventually will be 1.7 to 2.5 astronomical units. Thus, towards the end of the sun's main sequence lifetime, liquid water will no longer be able to exist on Earth.